this is the very first video about a new chapter about homomorphisms a map phi of a group G into a group G prime so we have G under A operation and we have G prime under A operation prime so a map phi of a group G into a group G prime is a homomorphism if the homomorphism property holds so this is the homomorphism property so G under this operation and G prime under the operation prime phi A times B this is in G equals phi of A times prime phi of b for all a and b in g um, uh, for any groups g and g prime there is always at least one homomorphism um, uh, phi from G to G prime what we call the trivial homomorphism okay so what is a trivial homomorphism phi takes G into G prime is a trivial homomorphism defined by phi of G equals the identity, the identity prime, okay, for all G in G. So if you have G here and G prime here and if all elements, all G's here, G1, G2, they all go to the identity here, okay, that is what we call a trivial homomorphism. Um, of course that knowing this um, no information about the structure of G or, or the structure of G prime is gained from the other group okay using this trivial homomorphism so you don't gain any particular information about any of the groups here okay now we have a map Actually, we have a group of homomorphism of G onto G prime. So we have a surjection, right? From G to G prime. So phi from G to G prime be a group homomorphism of G onto G prime. So we have a surjective homomorphism. If G is a billion, G prime must be a billion. Well, some intuition first. Um, so we have G uh, under a certain operation here, and G prime under an operation prime. Okay, we have an application here, phi. You know that, that's, that this application here is a group homomorphism. So it means that if you do phi of A times B, I'm going to say times, phi of A times prime, phi of B, because it's a group homomorphism, and you know it is a subjection. Okay? Some of you guys must be 
used to the idea of uh, this subjection is a y that equals there will always be an x such that for all y there will be a x such that f of x equals y okay let's prove that if so if g is a billion meaning you have a element a here and an element b here so a times b equals b times a that's the definition of a billion uh, the the images here here you will they will also be a billion okay proof uh, let us take so let us call this one G and this one G prime let us have a phi here I always like to have these diagrams so let a prime and b prime be elements of g prime so a prime and b prime will be here uh, if g is a billion g prime is a billion so we have to to show that a prime times times prime i should say a prime times b prime equals b prime times a prime okay um, since a phi is onto there will be a a an element a and an element b in g such that such that phi of a will be a prime and phi of b will be b prime okay since g is a billion we have a times b equals b times a but g is a normal homomorphism what is a homomorphism means that phi of a times b equals phi of a times phi of b right so um, knowing that phi is a group homomorphism we have a prime times b prime equals phi of a times phi of b right because if phi of a is a prime and phi of b is b prime phi of b is b prime okay but phi of a times phi of b um, but phi is also a group homomorphism so this equals phi of a times b right okay but g is a billion so this equals phi of b times a right so but and it is a group homomorphism so phi of b right phi of b times a equals phi of b times phi of a because it's a group homomorphism and this equals b prime times a prime so a prime times b prime a prime times b prime equals b prime times a prime proved if g is a billion g prime must be a billion so we picked 
a prime times b prime that's what we needed to prove right that's where we we got that's why we consider this proved okay so the this would be proved once we get this and we got that at the end okay so we wanted to prove that but since phi is onto phi was onto a and b were in g right such that phi of a a prime so this one is phi of a and phi of b equals b prime so this one was phi of b okay a prime is phi of a b prime is phi of a of phi of b since g is a billion we have so why can i write a times b equals b times a because g is a billion okay by hypothesis g is a billion okay so um I wrote the two images here and I want to know what is the product of a prime times b prime the product of two images here in g prime so the product of those images are phi of a times phi of b why can I say that um, <coughs> because phi is onto right but phi of a times phi of b equals phi of a times phi b. Why? Uh, because it's a group homomorphism. This is the property of being homomorphism. Homomorphism. Okay. But phi of a times b equals phi of b times a. Why? Because. Wait a sec. Um, this one, this equal here, yep, because G is a billion. So, but phi of B times A equals phi of B times phi of A. Why? Because um, is a group homomorphism okay that's the property of being homomorphic okay and phi of b times phi of a equals b prime a prime because it's onto phi is an onto uh, map i think i have done all, all this correctly okay i i like to prove things this way a lot um, uh, justifying every single step I do okay I like this way to prove things 